Let's pull the top four off of this. Yeah, those will gradually empty out. We may join back with that down lower. Yeah, I'm thinking that this will go up to here and over and down. Ah, blast. You know what, just for evenness. I'll let you go under. Perfect. 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 Nice. Okay. We get another couple of rebel ports in here. a way for them to get power. <laughs> That's going to be important. We can do a block down the middle. It'll reach everything. Almost everything. Let's do... Watch me be clever. side but these will still be able to reach as long as we make sure that the arms match up perfect, perfect, perfect. these in then we can copy paste these down below in just the right place oh come on I thought you'd feed a little bit faster than that Copy from one to the other to be able to align them. There we go. That'll cover everything in the middle, however, the outside inserters will not be covered. For those, we're actually going to have to do some on the outside here. Oh, and that's going to be off by one, isn't it? It's fine. Yeah, 
Everyone gets power. Okay, let's make sure that these are, they're loading on. So let's make sure they load on to either side of this belt. Oh, that's easy, because then they match up with the bottoms of these. So we just do the arms along the bottoms like that. Just gotta make sure I don't overlap anything. Yeah, that lines up. Rotate. Perfect. We'll do the same for the outside. These are pointing the wrong direction. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! That's fine. Could be worse. They could be like loading something onto these that they shouldn't be. For some reason, I was thinking the middle. Oh yeah, the middle is going to be um, output, but it's the middle of the columns that's output. Duh. Rotate. we get two rows of probably saturated copper. But anything they don't grab could come out here and back into these four. So let's go this way. Oh boy, over and then down. Then you go down here, here, and here. So whatever gets past these machines can go back into the system. Waste not, want not. Alright, so we're only joining two then. We'll do like a two to... Well, we'll join two onto here, and then we'll do like a six down to four right here. Or we could do it here. Well, we need to prioritize these getting onto the belt, though. Man, okay. looking at the best place to bring this down. I think it's, funny enough, I think it's down here in the middle. We actually need to cut left. to like go underground under these pipes no problem fast train frightening 
works, okay. be able to use a six to four balancer and prioritize it just right let's see what the output looks like on one of those oh I accidentally ate into the iron here That'll be good, and we bring the top two in. Come on, guys, clear it out. Figure it out. Okay. Upgrade. These will come in here, no matter what. We'll do a squiggle here. Over and down. However, I want it to work where the more of these we have, the more we have coming in from these, it backs these up. That makes sense. Hmm. For instance, these two come in here, they get balanced right here. This one comes in here. I want this to have an input priority from the right. This one comes down here. Input priority on the left. It's down here, input priority on the right. It loops back around. So maybe that's fine. It's not really a balancer, I guess, but. <laughs> so then after they come out here, Put priority right, balance into these. It's not really a balancer so much as a combiner at this rate. Let's follow this one again. Split to here. Okay, so it kind of looks like it's working. If we watch, these are moving very fast. These are moving more slowly. Ideally, these will back all the way up to the bus, and these will just keep coming. Oh, but these get broken out into two, four, six, eight anyway. Hmm. Maybe we do six to eight right here, and then prioritize those two coming in. That's better. That's a better option. Got the supply. Let's grab our six to eight. What's a good idea if it can't be replaced with another idea? Yes. Tear this out. Those are actually probably fine. Is that as far as that goes?
two, three, four, five. I thought it would go further. Guess not. These can go under then. Four, five, six. I just don't like the idea of like underground belts under underground belts. Gives me some cognitive dissonance. Come, now we gotta go under here. only go five these go like one two three four five six seven eight very strange all right can we fit the six to eight we pulled out here yes perfectly actually Planner. We need to work out prioritizing the top two again. Come on, guys. There we go. Great circuits have been dry. Well, we've been working on this. Okay. What kind of balancing is going on if only these are... Uh, you know what? Top two. You are getting some from the top two, so you have an input priority on the right. You have an input priority on the right. These are coming out here. you are going up here. Input priority right. You're coming out here, and put priority right. Both those are coming out that side. Then down here, and put priority right into these two, and put priority left and right, right, left. That's coming out. So this doesn't have to have an input priority anymore. This comes out and goes around. But that also doesn't have to have an input priority. I feel like we should still see this. I think we need to put an 8x8 eight eight balancer in this on this other side. But we should see the top two moving more steadily than the bottom. They're all moving pretty fast, but that top one's really going. So I'm happiest with that. So the 8x8 balancer in here. How big is it? We've grabbed it a couple times already. out faster than they can. They have to fly too far. Okay. Eight by eight. Upgrades. Okay.
Okay, at least the gaps are uniform here. Nice. They're still producing pretty fast, even though they're red, they're like flashing. Like, look at that, it's producing a ton even though it's red because it does have times where it does have to stop and wait. And it's actually waiting for more iron. That'll be a whole other thing, so we only have two lines of iron coming into here. While it doesn't seem like it requires as much, we might need to get two more lines of iron eventually. We have iron right here. We could pull some of this iron off and smelt it directly into the system. The only thing is, it's not future proof. Oh, I just saw your message again. Balancer's gross. Four lines were in fully compressed, and they lost 20% somehow on the output. Was it this one that you were talking about? Sorry, I know it was a few minutes ago. I missed that message, though. Because, yeah, like, I don't know. For whatever reason, it doesn't evenly balance everything on the other side. The six to four. This one? No, that's eight to four. What are you talking about like way back? The one I took out. Gotcha. Yeah, it, it just seemed like it would be better. I don't really know what this is going to look like until it really does pick up all of its speed um, modules, which is just getting very slowly. On those again. We've certainly improved copper throughput. You're not waiting on it, you're just like slowly producing. You're waiting on more of these to be made. would not be needed. <laughs> kind of feel like it should have had these like queued up into a chests or something. That's fine. Hey, we can get more in there. circuits look good like the trickling in how many rockets have we launched now 49 35 percent of the way through our 50th rocket are the trains looking still running you know this is an issue if can you get some more 
roboports in here, or radars rather. Um, this is an issue. If we're waiting for the train to unload, actually that might tie up the return line for the copper. <sighs> okay, well I mean it leaves after 80 seconds anyway, but and it's not like we need the copper um, desperately every five seconds. But what I was gonna say was, you know, we have plenty of ore coming in. It's getting kind of bottlenecked at the actual smelting process. We could add in a couple more columns to get a couple of rows, just like we did for the copper, and then get that sent over to, to green circuits. Let me take a look up here. Hmm, because we have some room that we could play with. Even though we just put these here, could put a couple of iron smelting columns here. We just have to bring this over higher, which we had avoided doing because I didn't want to cross this awkwardly. You know what? I kind of like that idea because then we could put in a couple of columns of like to smell iron. How wide is that? Like it would fit. And then we take the two off the bottom here, send them over to the left, meet up with these two, supplement the green. <laughs> Let's do it like this. Let's go with this. Take that and let's move it all the way down to here. in our clipboard. <laughs> there we go. Now let's go from there. A pipe here. Let's get that pipe. There's water right there. direction. with it today. <laughs> <laughs> 